Okay, so in this video, we will find the following limit. And by now we know that when we have a limit as x goes to positive or negative infinity, and in the expression there are only powers of x, the only power that really matters, that drives the limit, is the largest power of x. And so in this case, it is x to the 4. So if we check our case based on this intuition, then the numerator will be approaching positive infinity, as 3x4 is by far the largest term on the numerator, and on the denominator, 5x4 is by far the largest term, and so it will also be driving the expression on the denominator, and will also be going to positive infinity. So we have an infinity over infinity case, and that is a non-trivial case, as we have a fraction where the numerator gets larger and larger and larger, which tries to make the whole fraction larger and larger, but the denominator also gets larger and larger and larger, which tries to make the whole fraction smaller and smaller and smaller. So it's not clear from this case what the limit might be. We now have an indeterminate case, but we can easily fix this problem by simply factoring x4 from the numerator and denominator. And again, we are factoring x4 because it is the largest power of x, therefore by far the largest term in the expression. So we have on the numerator x4 then times 3 minus 1 over x squared minus 8 over x4 then divided by, we are also factoring x4 and what's left over is 5 plus 1 over x plus 1 over x4. We can now cancel the common factor of x4 top and bottom. And so what's left is on the numerator 3 minus 1 over x squared minus 8 over x4 and on the denominator 5 plus 1 over x plus 1 over x4. And now we have four of the six terms are constants over larger and larger quantities. So every single one of those fractions is shrinking to zero. And as they do, the numerator gets closer and closer to 3, and the denominator gets closer and closer to 5. And so as x goes to infinity, the fraction gets closer and closer to 3 over 5, which is our limit.